In this video I want to speak about common volleyball problems all players face. Problems that we may encounter many times per year and I will tell you my simple advice how to deal with them. Hi, I'm Jay Popelka, Volley Country founder. You can find volleyball advice, tips and exercises on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel and don't miss any advice or tip. We all love volleyball, we are practicing, playing games, uh, but sometimes we have to face some problem. And let's face it, uh, there are many problems we have to deal with in volleyball. I don't want to get into details of every possible problem. I won't speak about specific volleyball skill problems. Uh, I want to share with you five volleyball problems which you face when you want to play volleyball as beginner or amateur player. I bet you know about these common problems. First problem before you can play volleyball is to know how to play volleyball. I can be really interested in volleyball, but if I can't touch the ball, if I have no skills, if all balls I touch will end up out of the reach of my teammates, there will be no volleyball. Only first touch and a lot of interruptions. And we need three touches to play volleyball to keep ball in the air. It isn't easy to learn volleyball, it takes time. Don't expect that after two practices uh, you become volleyball player. On the other hand, there are many simple exercises which can help you to improve your volleyball skills in short time and you can work on yourself even alone. Ok, you know how to play volleyball. The more you play, the more you will feel the need of good volleyball equipment. We like to wear sport shoes almost in any situation, but sport shoes are not ideal for volleyball. In volleyball we are making a lot of fast movements and we are jumping. It's important to wear volleyball shoes. You should also use volleyball knee pads, uh, otherwise you risk problem with your knees. Also, when you play volleyball, you need uh, shorts, t-shirts and a ball. I'm not recommending you to buy top quality ball when you start with volleyball. Just buy for yourself the ball you can use uh, in hall, at home, outside. You know that if you want to play volleyball, one person is not enough. You need at least 12 players to play 6 against 6 volleyball or at least uh, 4 friends uh, to play beach volleyball. We are often practicing and playing volleyball in clubs, uh, then to find a teammate for a practice or a game is not a problem. But you are not limited to play under official rules. You can play beach volleyball 3 against 3, like snow volleyball, or you can play indoor volleyball game 4 against 4 with adjusted rules. Let's suppose you know how to play volleyball, you have the right equipment, there is enough players ready to play, now you face where to play problem. In summer you have more option where to play. You can play outside, on a beach, uh, even in the hall. In winter you can't play outside, you are limited to play inside, in halls, in beach volleyball halls. And these facilities are sometimes very crowded. It's not easy to find a free spot for your game or training. My advice is to find a one place where you can arrange practices or games on regular basis, once a week or as you planned. Hall operators prefer more stable clients who use their hall regularly. Or if you want to arrange one-time practice, book it well in advance. Most common problem that we face in volleyball is an injury. You can solve all other problems, but if you are not in a good shape, healthy, there is no volleyball for you. Therefore, health is the most important for any volleyball player. It doesn't matter if you are amateur or professional player. You need to be in a good shape uh, to play volleyball. Take care of yourself, don't underestimate warm-up, uh, do stretching on a regular basis. Prepare your body for volleyball. We are not playing chess. Uh, we need our body to be ready to jump, uh, to make fast movements, uh, to have a good coordination. So these are five most common volleyball problems we can face. Think about them, be ready when they come and solve them the way that you are as limited as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.